Welcome to SEMA 2023. Buckle up, Buttercup! Of course, one of my first stops had to be Dio Dynamics because guess what? I'm getting ready to carry this on the website, buckleupoffroad.com, but they are releasing brand new Bronco headlights. And here they are. The cool thing about these headlights, they offer them in amber and white, but you don't have to decide it as you're installing them. There's actually an accessible harness that you can easily swap between amber and white. So if you change your mood, that's okay. They also have an opening sequence and four projector bulbs right there. Pretty cool. We're at our next stop, Weston, and there's a good reason for that. They're getting ready to release a new product for the Bronco, and it's so good that I'm actually thinking about testing it out on my Bronco, and that is this hidden winch. Right now, Rough Country is the only company that's offering a hidden winch solution for the Broncos. That is until right now. They're expecting to release this in the first quarter of next year. This will bolt on to the regular bumper of the Bronco. Obviously, they have their Weston bumper here too, so it is gonna be compatible with that. But I do wanna try this out. I wanna measure the clearance in inches compared to the normal skid plate versus the hidden winch mount. I have measured the Rough Country one, and honestly, you actually gain, I think, like a half an inch with it. So once I get this installed on my Bronco, it'll be a good testament to see if you're gaining clearance, losing clearance. But overall, I am really happy to see another manufacturer coming out with a hidden winch solution because I do think people want to see more of that. I do carry all of the Weston products on the website as well as Oracle. Oracle is doing all their lighting for it. One thing I really like are these steps. I did ask them about these steps. Are they heavy duty rock sliders? No, they're not, but they are nice for those days when you want to go to the mall. But if you want to go off road, you better take them off, which is okay. Next stop is the Alpha Rex booth. You all know the love I have for my Alpha Rex headlights. They are by far my favorite. I've done a lot of head-to-head -head headlights. Alpha Rex has won every single time, but you know what? Alpha Rex is getting ready to release some taillights at the, I think at the end of first quarter of next year, but they are kind of like a Raptor style taillight. Here they are right here, sequential turn, and they have a prismatic sequence and lighting structure to it. That's another cool thing you can expect from Alpha Rex, and you know I'll be carrying it too. You know how last year I went drifting in the Supras? Well, I'm getting ready to do some big girl drifting today. Do you see that Ford Ranger back behind me? Yep, that's gonna be me. And that, I'm freaking excited. Well, I was just told that I have to put like a big suit, helmet, everything on. This is like the real big girl stuff. And then I'm gonna have to climb through that window. This is gonna be so fun.
once you get situated, then if you can like kind of lift up a little. one of them. Whew. How's my hair look? <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. Okay, next on the list, build a drifter Bronco. And I think I said this last year, I think I need to make this happen. Awesome, thank you so much, no I problem. appreciate it. There's we the driver lucky. right here. We got lucky, it was fun. He didn't hit anything. He no was all balls. like, oh, I'm a rookie, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having fun. That's all. Just wanted you to know I'm having tons of fun. exciting news. Ford Performance has been listening to us and they're actually going to start offering some packages for your Ford Bronco that you can order at the dealership. So when your Bronco arrives, it's ready for off-road. They have two different packages they're getting ready to release in the first quarter of 2024. This one is the ORV package. This is their off-road type package. You can expect a lot of aftermarket off-road goodies on the ORV package. So they've partnered up with some people that they usually partner up with, ARB, Rigid, you know, the, the well-known and reliable brands and piece together an off-road package. We're gonna walk around and show you some of the things that Ford is offering for the ORV package. You're gonna get the wheels and suspension and everything like that, but a lot of this focus on aesthetics and lighting because, well, we all want to look good while we're off-road and we also want to be able to see. The second package they're going to be offering is the Beach Bronco package. And this one's personally my favorite. The ORV one is super cool, lots of lights and aesthetics, but this one really comes with some items that I really like. Unfortunately, this package is only offered for hardtops because you do get this rack up here as part of the package. But look at the graphics on this thing. It looks amazing. But come over here. This is the part that I really like about this package. 
the silver fenders, the silver A-pillar, and the silver grill. This is not the carbonized gray grill that you get on the Badlands. This is an iconic silver grill. No matter what base color Bronco you have, these items are going to be silver. This package also comes with some rigid lighting and the Ford Performance tube doors, which are awesome steps and so much more. Wheels are cool. You get rock lights, all kinds of stuff. This one's my favorite, maybe because I live in Florida. It seems like every year I'm making a stop at the Oracle booth because every year they're releasing new products for the Bronco and I'm really excited to show you something that they just released at this show. Check out these futuristic fog lights. So one of these lights can be used as a driving light, as a fog light, but the other two are like a laser beam. They were doing some demonstrations and it reaches like 3,200 feet in front of you. I'm gonna try to show you the depth of how far these fog lights go. You can see I'm right here and we're gonna be focusing all the way down at the end of the hall on that wall. You're gonna see how bright these laser beams are. Crazy. Super awesome. A couple other updates that they have. They do offer their Oculus headlights now in RGB, not just white or amber, which is really cool, but the new pod lights. And the coolest thing is they've had a lot of feedback today uh, from the show about the mount for the pod lights. And I personally like it as well because you can stock the pod lights on top of it. So really cool stuff. Another awesome thing that they did, come this way. They got really creative with their rock lights. You know, you can put the rock lights in your wheel well and everything like that, but instead they are using them as interior lights. And this is such a great idea. I think I may do this to my Bronco. You can set them to white, whatever color you want. They use a remote. They're not wired to come on automatically with your dome light because usually you don't need that much light every single time you open your door at night. It's usually just if you drop something or you need to find something, but they do have those wired up. I think it looks great. They also released their tinted flush mount taillights. I'll show you what those look like. They have them on display over there. A lot of you guys are fans of the flush mount taillights, so it's really cool to have another option. I love the blacked out look, obviously. Another really cool thing that I think I'm going to add for my winch mount point is a light. This isn't like a specific light for winches or for this rough country hidden winch. It's just one of their lights that they offer, but it's a really good idea if you're gonna go out in the trails at night to have some lighting around your winch so you can easily, you know, access everything. Right here, right now, I'm declaring when I'm making it real big and I'm making millions, I am going to get an off-road ready Lamborghini. The Storado is my kind of Lamborghini. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Next stop, I'm going to show the Bronco Raptor some love, and that's because a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me saying, Krista, go to Ford Performance and find out about this carbon fiber package. I did speak with a Ford Performance representative and have a ton of information for you, but first I want to show you the carbon fiber package on the Bronco Raptor right here. Ford Performance did give me some really great information. Right here, you will see the matte finish carbon fiber. They're gonna offer a matte carbon fiber finish and a gloss carbon fiber finish. They're gonna sell this as a complete set and also individually. They did that because if you go off road and damage one of these flares, you probably don't wanna purchase the whole kit all over again. So I think that was really smart. The kit is going to come with the front and rear flares, also the fender vent and then the hood vent up on top. It'll also come with the tailgate reinforcement cover. They did call it something specific, but I'm drawing a blank because I have SEMA brain. 
Ford Performance did tell me that you can expect this package to be available to purchase at the beginning of quarter one of next year. They said they are trying very hard to even release it sooner. And if they're able to, they definitely will. They just wanted to make sure they had plenty to sell because they tend to sell out of their parts and they just didn't want that to happen. So it's coming guys, it's coming. Yeah, I'm thinking Ford needs to make this a color, not just for the Raptor, but for the Bronco. This is a sick wrap job. feet are already hurting, but thankfully I'm at the Flated booth. I met these guys last year and they were keeping a secret from me. They were keeping a secret. You know what that secret was? They were on Shark Tank, but they didn't tell me about it. They actually sent me some of their Flated products that I put on the Bronco. Absolutely love it. But their whole entire booth is inflatable. They brought it into the back of their truck and then inflated their entire booth. They even have this inflatable table and chairs. And they're like, oh, this is just for display, you know, no big deal. I'm like, dude, you gotta bring this to market. The Overlanders would love this. You can put everything in your truck, you know, get your twin air compressor, fill them up. Awesome. I keep wondering and waiting for that announcement that there's a Bronco EV or hybrid coming. It's not happening today. I keep trying, I keep trying to find out no answers but i am in this awesome mach e rally car and it's freaking cool so let's check it out what do you guys think about this would you drive a rally car like this i think i would i'm still waiting to see if they're going to come out with an electric bronco if they do leave your comments below would you do an electric bronco or would you do a hybrid Bronco? Let me know your feedback. Let me know what you think about this car. On to the next. I am dwindling down on the booths I'm visiting because SEMA is soon coming to an end. But I wanna talk about a company that you don't really hear a lot about in the Bronco market, and that is Cobb. But they have come out with a couple products, one being an intercooler, which is compatible for the 2.3 and the 2.7s, and they also have a Bronco Raptor intercooler available. But something that they're gonna be releasing in the next couple weeks is an air intake system for the 2.3 and the 2.7 Broncos. They did mention that they are going to eventually offer kind of like a carbon fiber option on which they do on the F-150 Raptors. That's to come. I don't have an ETA or anything on that, but it is cool to see Cobb come up to the market in the Bronco world. They do have like an access port tune for the Bronco Sport, and they said someday we can hopefully get one for the Bronco and the Bronco Raptor. But I think that's it for this booth. Let's go to the next. This build turned out awesome. It's even on airbags. Broncos, Las Vegas, SEMA, the banquet, SEMA Fest. What more year, can you ask for? What an epic year at SEMA 2023. This is not the last one and I can't wait to come back next year and bring more content all your way. Until next time guys, buckle up, buttercup. But That's I'm so great. happy to hear about your success Thank and your you. business. Thank you, I appreciate that. That is fantastic. Buckle up, buttercup.